Hello, this is Hammy Time, and this is my hamster travel system. So recently we went out of town, and due to circumstances beyond our control, we had to bring our hamsters with us. I definitely don't recommend traveling with your hamsters if you don't have to, because it can cause them a lot of stress. So this is my travel system. It consists of travel carriers, fold-up plastic bin cages, standalone water bottle holders, playpens, and mats. Everything was custom made by me. This travel system was appropriate for our trip because the place we stayed at did not have any other animals that could harm my hamsters. Starting with the travel carriers, the plastic bins I used are Room Essential Stackable File Boxes from Target. This brand makes these bins in two sizes and this is the smallest size. I chose it because it was small enough to fit in my car and tall enough to fit a large comfort wheel. These carriers are for travel in my car only. To make them I used a hot knife to cut out windows and then I attached wire hardware cloth with screws, nuts, and washers. Unfortunately I made way too many holes for the screws and I ended up only using about half of them. Because it's a small space I had to fit in a wheel for exercise. Ginger was in her wheel most of the car ride so I'm so glad that I could accommodate her. To maximize the space I cut out a piece on the back of the bins to attach the wheels. The plastic bin wall was too weak to hold the large purple comfort wheel so I had to include the stand for support. Gimli's silent spinner attached perfectly without a stand. The playpen walls, mats, and fold up bin cages lie flat and fit perfectly in the back trunk of my car. I was able to pack them and all of our luggage and stuff with no problem. This is Ginger setup. The fold up plastic bin is made from plastic sheets, duct tape, and velcro. I got the plastic sheets from the Hobby Lobby, which is a craft supply store here in the US. I have videos on the playpen and mat on my channel. If you're interested, you can check them out. I use a lot of duct tape to create things for my hamsters. Duct tape works great because it's very durable and easy to use. Now I did a lot of research prior to using duct tape. My research included a material safety data sheet and a phone call to my hamster's exotic animal veterinarian. I found no evidence of any toxicity and I deemed it safe to use. However, I would not use it for a hamster that insisted on chewing or eating it. I have never had any issues with it. I have a lot of chew toys for my hamsters that are available to them all the time. Ginger loves the Snack Shack Chew Logs and Gimli Loves Whimsy Chews. This is Gimli's setup. His fold up bin is 16 by 20 inches and Ginger's is 18 by 24 inches. The sides have strips of Velcro from top to bottom. I was able to lay one end of the bins flat to expand their space inside the play pens when they were active. They seemed to enjoy this setup the most. The first day I removed the bins so they could have more wide open space, but leaving the bins inside the play pens seemed to give them a little more confidence. This is the standalone water bottle holder. They're made from cut pieces of foam core taped together on the inside. They lie flat for storage and when in use the water bottle fits snugly to hold them in place securely. This is Gimli's setup while he was using it. And this is Ginger's setup while she was using it. This is Ginger's open playpen. So that is my hamster travel system. This worked out well for us. Again, I don't recommend traveling with your hamster, but if you need to take them along, I hope this gives you some ideas or inspiration. I'll leave you now with some video of my hamsters using this system. Thank you for watching.